All right, so I severely underestimated how much soil I would need. I had 10 cubic yards delivered initially via dump truck, and it wasn't enough, so I had to go get three more cubic yards of uh, compost, sand, and manure. This is an eight-foot bed truck that I rented, and I did the volume calculations to figure out that it would fit the uh, volume, but what I didn't anticipate was the weight. And man, it was impressive to see how far down uh, the bed compressed. And now I'm going to try and do some fun editing, see if I can learn how to do this, and uh, show you what it's going to look like when it's empty. And there it is after I've emptied the truck. All of the soil is out. And now I'll go show you where I put it. All right, so here are the three holes that need to get filled. I finished digging out this rectangle hole this morning, exposed the irrigation pipes that I'm going to use to run water to all five of these holes. The circle holes are all uh, dug out. They're about four feet in diameter and about two, a little over two feet down. So I'll show you how I measure this. It's pretty crude, but take a the bar, run it straight across, and run the measuring tape straight down. And this is showing like 28 inches. It's about 28 inches down. And with that, I did the math to figure out, okay, if I've got 28 inches down and uh, four feet across, what's the volume of the, these? Um, this rectangle is about five feet long, two feet wide, and again, 28 inches down. So all of that put together means I should need about three cubic yards. And once again, I'm gonna experiment with a little bit of an editing technique and see if I can get this. So here they are empty and full. And just like that, it's a couple hours later. The sun has gone down just about. It's getting kind of dark, so I'm not sure how well this will show up. And it seems I underestimated how much soil I need. So uh, I've heard that when you uh, increase the diameter of a cylinder by just a little bit, it has a big impact on the uh, volume that it takes up. And so I wonder if scraping out these <coughs> uh, holes might have uh, made it a bit more... Uh, <laughs> consumed a lot more because this hole I think took five maybe six wheelbarrows and this big guy over here was more than eight. Uh, that's okay though because I've got the giant Burmese going in that one so it can get pretty big so I don't mind making a bigger hole for it and uh, the other thing is on this uh, rectangle yeah I'm short here but I also have a five by two by two planter box, uh, already full of all of the excess soil from the original uh, 10 yards. So I'm just going to use that to fill this in, and I think I should still have a little bit left over for when all of these settle and uh, sink down a little bit, and I think I should be actually pretty good, but we'll see. Uh, stay tuned for another video, and 